Our God that we serve, the Creator, is able to change what the devil messed with. So if the enemy has created genetic defect to produce susceptibility to traditional allergies, then if we'll get the junk out of our life that empowered the enemy, your God will be more than happy to change your genetic code back the way he wanted it to be, and you'll be allergy-free. We're getting that worldwide. Say, we're getting it. No, God's working with people who are getting it. We just happen to be the life coach for him. I can teach you truth. I can teach you science. I can teach you application. But unless you take ownership of your life, what I have taught you here and around the world is vanity. You know what? There's a scripture coming to me about people. The Bible says to know truth and not do it, you are self-deceived. That's a scripture. How many of us want to admit we're self-deceived? Nobody. No more than you want to know there's bats in your belfry tower. We don't want anybody to suggest that we don't have good thinking. We'll tell everybody about our dysfunctional body, but leave our heads alone. And don't question my spirituality. Well, this is a journey. Um, I think we've covered that pretty well. A topic, IgE mediated allergies. Um, a topic or a topic manifestation. Um, there's one I'd like to show you. Uh, on the screen, I'd like to show you a case history of, um, this would be eczema. Would you bring up the picture of the child on the screen, please? We've got a new screen up here, and um, our laser pointers aren't working on it. This is a child That was at a conference I did in New England. The parents brought the child to me in a, and said, what can we do? Well, what can we do? We find out why does the child have this condition. I wanted to go and find a, a bit of research if I could find it in all of this collection of material. I'll thumb through here quickly. I did find it. I'm dealing with a case right now in another state of an older person who has had this condition, comes and goes lifelong for 80 plus years. The case history of this child and the case history, now we're talking about skin disorders. We're talking about things that manifest how about the itch, the orangutan itch? We, 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 we go to find topical applications to antihistamines. We run here, we run there. But we don't deal with what's causing the manifestation. They brought this child to me. And I had some words for the parents. First of all, that a child is reacting to lack of love from either one of you. Who is it? The father or the mother? They're both standing there looking at me. How would you like to have a child like this? And I'm looking at you, not the child. You want the child healed, and I'm telling you the child has this condition because of one of you. You may not want to talk to me too quickly because I may want you to change Otherwise, your child's never going to change. Now, I've opened up a really can of worms here. 
Is it possible that many of our problems are because we're exposed to improper spirituality in the parents? Did your journey of disease begin with parents who didn't love you properly? MCSCI is one of those disorders. So we're talking to the choir. I don't mean, I don't mean to be mean. I don't mean to be accusatory. But if you want answers, I think this is a good place to be today. And if the shoe fits, don't sell it to somebody else. It's your life. If you came for answers, fine. If you didn't, you shouldn't be here. True? Because I represent change. Because he represents change. So I want you to have the best from heaven. Not the least. So, I, when I asked the question and got into this case, I found, next chart. Here's mom. Here's the same child after healing. And it was quick. What took the child from what you saw in the first screen to this dependent on mom? Mom didn't always smile about her son. She didn't want a boy. She wanted a girl. So when she got a boy, she refused to bond with the boy. Refused to nurture him. Refused to cuddle him and breastfeed him. She wanted nothing to do with her child. Christian mom. The enemy used that of rejection. The child is so young. Take it back to the first screen. Well, it's right here. The child is so young. The child doesn't even know the English language yet. So all the child is responding to is physical touch. Let me read to you from science. This, this is, I don't know, this research probably 15, 20 years ago. Eczema. Bing. Flaky, blistering, itchy skin. 3% of all Americans typically runs in families. You can take the word familial now. Add the word to your notes, the word familial. That word familial means inherited. In the Bible, I call it iniquity transferred. Why? Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. The iniquities of the fathers shall be visited to the third and fourth generation. Families. With a susceptibility to hay fever and other allergic disorders. The disease which can appear at any age often starts in infancy. Bingo. Often starts in infancy. Disappears between the ages of two and four, then returns in early adulthood. I'm dealing with a case right now for 80 years. It's been off, on, off, on, on from childhood. The case history I'm dealing with now, what I'm about to read to you, is an exact match of the history of this person from childhood. Or it may last from infancy on to an adulthood with intermittent flare-ups and remissions. This is the case history I'm dealing with now. Several studies have been found that when the condition in infants doesn't respond to normal treatment, it may be, listen carefully, folks, it may be due to inadequate touching and cuddling. Eczema is known to be less prevalent amongst breastfed infants. Now, I want to give you a statistic from science. If a child is taken from the womb, given to its mother who breastfeeds it, 
All allergies are prevented in that child statistically for the first six years of its life. From breastfeeding, Dr. Spook was wrong. He created generations of disease. Touch. Cuddling. 